Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Last week we did a video on a pre-deployment for four sites that we're going to be doing. And in this video, we're going to be doing the main site. This is currently what the site looks like, and we did clean it up a little bit. We were on a short timeline as we were able to get in there yesterday. Our internet came in, and the other people that were managing their network are taking their service out this morning. So we really only had about an eight hour window to get them back up and running. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you like watching live streams of games, you could find me on Twitch and it will be in the description below. So now let's get to site and take a look at what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so this is the LAN room that we're gonna be working in today. You can see that we have a bunch of different patch cables, all different lengths. Uh, we have a patch panel up top, which I think is for some fax lines. There's a bunch of cables that are looping in and out. Um, I've already captured all the port information, so the data jacks going down to these network switches. What we're gonna be doing first is ripping out all of these cables taking out these two Nortel switches, then putting in a couple 48 port Unify switches and hopefully making this look a little bit neater. I have a bunch of red slim patch cables and the reason we're going with red is that's all that was in stock. So I'm gonna start taking this apart. All right, so most of the patch cables are now out. We see a couple that are here. They're just looped in between different keystones. They're used for something analog, so we will clean these up later. But for now, I'm going to leave them all plugged in. Next thing we need to do is remove these switches and then get our unified gear put in place. The switches are now out and I'm trying to figure out where we're going to place some gear. We can't move any of these patch panels because they have no slack at the back. So what I'm thinking is put both the 48 port switches here and then the UDM Pro on the bottom. Um, I do have one foot patch cables. I also have six inch and then I have six or seven foot patch cables if we need longer ones and they're all just slim. So I'm going to start racking the switches and then we'll rack the UDM Pro. All right, now I got the two switches and the UDM Pro in place. What I need to do, I need to patch in all of these ports which were laid out on this diagram that I created for the patch panel to switch ports. So it's gonna be a little bit different than I typically do it as we're not re-terminating any of this. So hopefully we can make it look nice and clean.
right, so this is the end result for now. Am I super happy with it? Not really. It's very difficult to be able to do patching when we can't re-terminate the cables. And in the quote, there is no cable cleanup at all. I do think it looks a bit better other than all those cables hanging down. Is it my best work? Probably not. Um, but it is what it is and we need to make sure that their network is up in the morning. On the column we have an access point. This is a U6 Pro. This is where the original access point was. So we just swapped it out. And we have one more U6 Pro access point on the first floor which will give Wi-Fi to everybody down here so that they could use their computers and do some printing. So that's gonna be it for this on-site video. Like I said, I'm not overly happy with how the cable management turned out, but on a short time frame, this is the best I could do. A couple things that could have made this look better is if we re-terminated all the cables and then we pushed all of the PoE devices to the left. We could see some of these longer cables that are stretching so that they could get PoE. As some of the ports on the right are for access points and phones, and these switches, they only go up to 32 for PoE. So if we had a full 48 PoE switch, we'd just be able to go down and then match the port. But as of last night, we were able to get everything up and running. The phones are running, the network's running, so I'm pretty happy. And this is gonna save the customer a lot of money as they were paying another network company a monthly fee and we won't be doing that with Unify. There will be another on-site video job next week for all the three other sites, which are smaller. I haven't seen the other sites, so it's gonna be interesting to see what we get into. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.